Hey guys, it was our Mike back again. Well, made the trip out to Virginia. Doing some house knocking and some civil war happening. So far, it's been a bust for me. I haven't found anything yet. Up here on top of the hill, hope you can hear this. It's awful windy. But I've got a great view. It's a great day. I just wanted to show you where I'm at. See all the big hills over there. Really nice, nice view. I might want to hire points around here. But evidently they didn't lose anything up here because I haven't found anything but junk. But I'll keep going. See what else I can find. The day's still young, so I got a lot more to do. So stay tuned. I'm thinking about heading right over there. Maybe. <laughs> So we'll see. All right, stay tuned, guys. Maybe I'll get on something good. Catch you at the next hole. Or maybe the next time I find something. Maybe all day. Maybe not. So stay tuned. It's cold. The wind's blowing hard now. I ain't kidding you. It's blowing hard. So stay tuned. So far, this is one of my better finds. Yep, there is junk here. I mean, somebody sat right where I was at, popped a soda or something, and drank it and throwed this in the ground. That was a long time ago. Let's get something better than this. On to the next one. That's a pretty cool deal there. It looks like it's a boundary marker. If you can read it or not. Says Washington, D.C. I guess that's the arrow to Washington. Stay on track. On to the next one. Well, guys, so far this is about my best find. It's getting up in the afternoon now. It's a horseshoe, half of one. Well, it's worth thin right here at the top, isn't it? I will see if we can find something else here. I got another target right here. I think it's probably the other half. Uh, see if we can get the rest of it here. All right, the wind's still strong. On the next one. Hey gang, we're over here at site two now. Got Jeff way over there, Brandon's here, Jeremy, and then Chris Nelson, and of course me. Or a mic, of course, man, get a little bit of publicity in here. And anyway, I just dug something that might be pretty cool. Don't know if it is or not. It looks like it might be the top to something. Don't know if it's a watch top. Don't know if it's old. Looks old. Not sure. Anyway, I'll go to the bag and keep going. Gang, it's day two at DIV in Virginia, and uh, it's been a rough one. Now I've entered the woods with all the other people. Started them around. But my first find here this morning, and really my first find so far, I just popped this button out. Alright, King. Been hunting uh, about an hour and a half here. I entered the woods with all the other people. So I'm in the heavy cover now. Lots of people. Lots of people. Anyway, my first find, really, of the whole trip, the Civil War. That button right there. I'm not a button expert. I don't know what kind of button it is, but it's cool. I'm glad to have it. So let's go on and see if we can get some more. All right, catch up with you later. Hey gang, my second button. Just pulled it out right here. Right there in that hole. Hit pretty hard. I'm not sure what it is, but it's cool. I know it's Civil War era. 
Awesome. Two buttons. All right, let's see if we can get some more. Look at that. It's going to rub it too hard. I think it's the eagle button now. All right, sweet. On to the next one. Hey gang, I ain't sure what that is, but definitely Civil War era. Probably junk, but it's got a hoe in it. Made for something. I'm not real sure. Alright, let's see if we can get something else. Turn out to be a pretty good day. Guys, I wanted to kind of show you how it is here. You can see the mountains way over there, I think. See those black things way over there? That's the mountains. And I'm on this hillside, and they had a fort. If you can see those trenches right there in front of me, those trenches run all the way down. And then they had a rock barricade wall up this way. So they had a fort or a barricade wall going up that way. And then you had this coming down and meeting right here where that blow tree is. That trench starts and runs all the way down there to the top of that hill. So they were defending this area here. And that would be against a charge from the lower and a charge from behind me. I dug this brass suspender clip. It's got cool writing on it earlier. I wanted to show it here. I'm getting ready to head into the bottom with the other boys. It's got some writing on it. This is a personal item. This would be something a soldier would have wore. And uh, kind of unique in that way is that it was a piece of clothing that he had wore during the war, I guess, and lost. So it's kind of unique. And it's probably my best find so far. It's got some stars across it, some numbers up at the top. I don't know if you can make them out or not. Anyway, I'm getting ready to head on to a different spot, so I should probably show you what I'm doing here. Alright, stay tuned, and maybe we'll get some more. It's about 2 in the afternoon here. Alright. I'll get back with you shortly. Hopefully. Alright, gang, I've changed locations. I'm out in the middle of a sage grass field. There's a tree stand right over there. See it? There's Jeffrey, and I just got here out of the woods, come out of the woods, and first target, second target actually, is this round thingy. I have no idea what it is, it's old, it's period, that means it's uh, old, old, but I don't know what it is, so we'll call it unidentified. All right, let's see if we can get something better than that. Well guys, you know, I came out to Virginia, not knowing what to expect. And I hadn't done very good because I'm, I'm not much of a Civil War hunter. But um, come down through here. And I come down from right up here. And right here is a bunch of rocks. And I come down and I had a high tone right here. And I flipped it out of the hole. And it's only one inch deep. Definitely a bucket list coin. 1857 Flying Eagle Penny. I only made them two years. 1857, 1858. Jeff read it as 1857 and uh, yeah high toned and uh, man I'll tell you what I'm happy about that that's unreal definitely a bucket lister for me for sure so it's 1857 flying eagle unbelievable 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 coin so happy to have that. Unreal. Just unreal. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Anyway, 
to the next one. And guys are dug another one of these. Don't have any idea what that is, but that's a little different than the other one. It's got another, it's got an inside part to it. I'll clean it up, see if I can figure out what it is. See if we can get something better than that. Hey gang, Missouri Mike here doing a relic wrap up from the digging in Virginia. And this is what I found. And I like that rock, that's cool quartz rock there. That was a surface find of course. Got me some iron nails and stuff here. This rock here actually is some kind of ore. It goes off with the pinpointer. It's pretty neat. A um, couple other little quartz rocks. This looked like it was some sort of bone, but I don't I don't know if it is or not, but I kept it anyway, either wood or bone or something. Sure looked different to me. And it's probably just a rock, but had some cool detail on it. Anyway, here's what I ended up with. This is probably one of my better finds, and I didn't realize it until I found it. It's got a date on it. If you look here, it's 1861. I think that's November. Anyway, what this is, it's a candle holder. I did uh, put it in the electrolysis bath and clean it up. It was real pitted real bad. It cleaned up pretty decent. But evidently they stuck this in a tree, stuck a candle in it and lit it. But it's got the date on it. Looks like it's 1861 there. It's been around here. So that was probably one of my best finds and I thought it was junk. It really did. Cool find. Anyway, at the camp, pretty tough digging for me and I didn't even find a bullet. But I had a good time and that's what a lot of it counts for, isn't it? I dug a few cool relics here. This suspender clip right here, dated 1812. It's got a date on it. That's pretty cool. Looked it up. Got a couple nails, of course. Those were cool, of course. And some shotgun stamps. Older buckle there. A flat, uh, flat button there. Pretty cool. I ended up getting a couple older cut buttons. There's a cuff button there. And that's a New York cuff button. I don't know if you can tell a whole lot about it. And this is an eagle cuff button there I'm not sure what that was it's was brass my better find was an 1857 flying eagle penny that was a cool find that, definitely a bucket lister and a couple other brass objects but that was pretty much it so like I say it was tough I did my best that's all I can do didn't dig near as much as some of them and dug up more than a few of them so had a great time though and that's what a lot of it counts for good time with friends and that means so much it really does well thanks for watching and as always on to the next one this is mike and i'm out